Now let's look at a story which is dominating the front pages of The Sun today. It says a Premier League star has become the first footballer to go to rehab for an addiction to laughing gas. The player was admitted to a medical centre after his family his family were worried and knocked the club for his help. Um, now, Gabby, uh, laughing gas, problem yeah. in the professional game? Has it been a problem in the professional game? It has game? been. I'm, I'm not sure about now because, um, you know, I'm not playing now. But when I played, it was, you know, a lot of the players did it. It was something that... Um, Especially if he was on the party scene like I was. <laughs> you know, um, I think like a statue outside there, the clubs in Mayfair. But, you know, players would always have it in the clubs and then, like, in parties. And, you know, if you're having a, a party somewhere, you'd have it. And we knew it was wrong, but it was just something that, you know, the players done. And um, the more you started hearing about it, the problems that it can cause. It's very yeah. dangerous. And once we found out how dangerous it was, we all stopped doing it because... Yeah. You know, it's not good for you, you know, and the way you, 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 you inhale it and what it can do to your brain, oxygen in your brain and stuff, it's not good. So I hope this player gets the um, help he, he needs. And from my point of view, when I went through it, I got caught by the club, you know, and um, I got fined and, and dealt with. But it was something that was big. Mm. In Premier League football, not in Premier League footballers, all footballers, not all footballers, but all leagues, certain footballers were definitely doing too many balloons. Was was it? Was there ever a player that you obviously played with or you know that got close to this type of levels where you, you, you had to say to him potentially, listen, I think you're going a bit overboard? No, no, there wasn't anyone. It was more Benny that um, whenever people went out, you know, like say if you was going on a night out, for instance, and you was getting ready with your friends. You might do a balloon in, the, in in your hotel room or your house, then in the club, and then after the club. But it was never something that, like, you know, the day after, you'd want to do a balloon. You'd probably no. do it once a week when you went out with your friends. Yeah. During the week, you wouldn't, you wouldn't feel the need to go and do a balloon, for instance. So I hope the player that um, needs his help gets the help he needs. And forgive, my, no addictions I, and forgive my ignorance to the yeah. balloons. What yeah. is the effect of this? So they say it's meant to make you laugh. Yeah, and I think maybe but you're always laughing anyway. I'm always so, laughing. So someone I know, like you, I know. Why I was would you sheep. do it? I was a sheep. That's why. You know, everyone was doing it. It was something you've done in the club, especially when you've had a few drinks. It makes you even laugh at it even more. Yeah. But um, I think it's one of them things. It was like you know when it, the shisha pens were a thing, and then shisha was a thing. Yeah, I remember the shisha players pens. Players were told that they can't do shisha anymore. Um, so it was sort of things that you know players were done and they were hiding mm. and when you got caught I mean, so many players got caught didn't they yeah i mean the papers got hold of a lot Front of players pages, getting yeah, caught course, yeah. doing it and you got in trouble for it and then um, we just hope that this player who's addicted gets over it gets the help he deserves mm. hopefully hopefully wise yeah. words from gabby talk sport drive super opinionated sporting debate monday to friday afternoon from four on am on dab via the talk sport app and on your smart speaker talk sport